Oh wow, can you believe this here? It is here! The current tank in Gansai Town by Art Nouveau. Oh my god, I've been craving this set since November last year. I watched people starting swatching it out in November and then it really increased in January where a lot of people have had their hands on it. And my uh, YouTube search was so evil that it, you know, it remembers what I've been watching. So most of my suggested videos was, oh, look at this, me swatching out the Art Nouveau Gansai Tampi set. And I'm like, uh, <laughs> I couldn't get my hands on it for quite a while because it was constantly sold out and it was so annoying. So this is the first time that I've really have figured that I'm like chasing down a product. And then it finally got available again on Amazon and I quickly just put it in the basket and then, uh, you know, click. <laughs> and then I waited and then I thought maybe I'm receiving some sort of, like, like sometimes if I order something on Amazon, it it's delayed in delivery. So I was uh, very insecure whether this was uh, a set that's going to arrive, you know. But um, yeah, I was lucky. I grabbed a set. <laughs> I swatched it out and then I compared the colors to the original set that I got from Gansai Tambi. It's a 36 pan set. <clears throat> I can't see that there are any duplicates. So this small set is a cool add-on for my uh, other set. Looking at the swatch, I really love, love, love the colors. They are very harmonious together. And I think actually this is a nice skin tone set. You can get that very white pale and you can also with the Mars yellow, Venetian red, and yellow brown, get a very darker uh, skin tone. So it's got a good variety of colors that I think you would grab for when you're making skin tones. Everything from those purple mauve taupe and old mauve, and also the pale, pale, soft pink for blushes. And the vermilion red is like, how can I explain it? It's very likable for for um, skin tone because it's not like a dark red and it's not like an orange so it's a, a very nice nice vermilion red and the saffron yellow I was a little bit hmm looking at it in the pan <laughs> but when you <clears throat> dilute it with a lot of water you actually get a yellow hue that's really likable it's more like a light okra it's not like a raw sienna but it, it's like a, a light okra with some hands of yellow mixed into it which is one of those mixes that I actually start with when I'm making my own skin tones so that was really a surprise I really think that this Art Nouveau set caught my eyes because these pre-mixed colors in this selection is just yummy. I had the Atiza 60 color gouache set that got like really um, pastel uh, colors in it. And I could see that I could find some of the pans similar to the Art Nouveau collection in the Atiza gouache set. But it's very gouache with a lot of white pigment in it so the reason why I gravitate toward the Kurataki Gansai Tambe set for Art Nouveau painting is because yeah they look like there is a lot of white mixed into these pans I mean when you look at the palette in your hand and your swatch sheet what you see in the pans is almost what you get on the paper <laughs> so there's not like super transparent uh, colors I was thinking when I started to swatch it. But then I realized, you know what? They're actually super cool. They are actually kind of transparent. And they don't have that white fillers that the Arteza gouache set have. So this is just a win-win for me. I'm taking the artwork from the packaging and trying to just do a tester watercolor painting. 
I'm working on really bad paper that buckles up a lot, which is not so great. <laughs> but this is not like, a, you know, a, a serious painting. I'm simply just swatching out these new paints and then trying to paint with them. Because, yeah, you can do swatches, but as long as you don't paint with it, you don't really know what you've got. So what I'm doing different in this painting that I normally like wouldn't do is that I go in and with a lot of wet washes to see how it moves when it's wet and it doesn't move a lot. And then I also try and mix on the paper instead of in a palette next to me because a lot of YouTubers have said that don't over mix them, just use them straight from the pan. So that's actually what I'm trying to do in this tester painting moving uh, the paint straight from the pan to the paper trying to uh, to see how they they get along together and I really like it a lot I like it a lot I think I'm, it just sparks joy I mean look at the damn palette it's oh it looks like a I don't know a box of candy it just sparks joy so finally it's here now my next idea is to I want to create some sort of a folder where I collect artwork from this area, the Art Nouveau area. And then uh, also print out borders from Pinterest because Art Nouveau to me is frames, borders, repetitive patterns, and also the joy of, I almost said Centangle, but you know, like some sort of doodling on stuff. You know when they got like this very repetitive um, thing going on? Also flowers? Oh my god. So, yeah. I also noticed that there is often line work included in paintings from this style. So I think that this tester painting would look awesome if I took a micron pen and then did the line work. If not on her face, then at least on the mirror behind her. This painting is looking like it's it's a lady standing with some lace in her hair, on her head. <laughs> like a hat. Um, and then she's standing in front of a mirror. And I made these things that's going on on the mirror a little bit inspired by peacocks. And then she's having lavender next to her face. So that's just very simple. <laughs> but um, yeah, I really like uh, working with this paint. It was definitely going to be a palette that I won't regret putting money into. Even though, yeah, you can mix a lot of these colors yourself. But why bother when you can get a palette where you can just dip and then get it. Here it is, finished. Thanks for watching. 